How you going, Pisces? Hope your daily read. Uh, it'll be a quick one for today. Um, we'll chuck three different decks at it and see what possibly comes out. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, we're going to get started straight away. Somebody's working very, very, very hard uh, to try and free their mind. Yeah. Maybe over... Yeah, somebody's trying to free their mind and take an action towards that with hope, yeah? So we can see that. That's hope in itself. And this is... It's not, it's not been the easiest for you at the present moment to release those, um, that situation, okay? You can see that with the, uh, the Emperor there. You are putting the effort in, 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 in definitely into the place that it needs to be put, um, and that's for sure because the hard work and determination is there, which came, came out like, a, like first up, shows the spirit sees that first mostly and needs to address that straight away. So it shows that like, you know, you, you are reliable and you are putting in that hard work and you are being patient um, with patient progress, you know, in itself and AK, okay, especially when it's tied up like that, yeah, it's tied right up and one, one she can't look at it as well. So it's like it's like um, those mirror aspects and shadows of themselves, okay, whether it's uh, based, based around uh, dominance or something, because we do have that emperor there next to it, or whether it's about around, you know, you having the quiet confidence and authority to be able to put that towards being more action taking more action in life i suppose because we do have uh the making a wish but you got to understand that's not just making a wish there are multiple actions to each card that can be releasing trauma okay especially around uh any dominance uh in dominant types because the emperor in itself is dominant yeah he's dominant he's a dominant leader and he's dominant in itself and then you got the healing of traumatic events but it's like this this says you're on the right path okay and then this this screams to me as he's sitting on action uh, on mars which is action Okay, that he's the king of the game. He's sitting on a chessboard, see? And that he's the king of the game, yeah? There's fa the, fa the rendered wall in the background's got cracks in it, but still a solid foundation. And he's able to put them places, there's marks in place in order to know that he's in the right path in towards releasing those traumas and, and releasing those shadows in order to be the best version of yourself, yeah? Especially around any type of love. You've got to understand the love is his love, yeah? It's either love or the choice. Okay, so of course, the dualities of Tunis, there's only a certain amount of ways that the major art kind of go. You know, that can be harmony, a lover in relationships. Um, it can be friendship, unity, the chance to, choice to allow yourself to fall in love as well um, in itself. Uh, but like it's, it could be a break in communication, okay, because I do see the connection in that star there, what's underneath the deck. Yeah, somebody's been trying to be pulled in the right direction, okay? Whether it's to your spirituality or whether it's towards a lover, you can see that there's a connection there. Um, and you can see that the spirit's trying to pull somebody in some sort of direction in this way. Um, we can see the lovers in itself. It can be disharmony or an opportunity to focus on self-love. It can be giving away your power in a relationship, you know, and, and, and um, you know, the loss of self as well. A lot of too many expectations of others could be manipulation and codependency because I did see that here with this when it came out. Because you gotta understand, I, I've got to read the energies of the cards that they come out, and then I've got to channel at the same time. And you know, and so with with the emperor there, I did explain that it could be put in action towards it, but it the way it came across, it seemed more like manipulation, codependency, maybe an imbalanced partnership. You're not able to choose between two people as well, especially with the choice there of the star. Um, and then we've got a choice straight out for that. Like I said, lovers is not only lovers, it's choice. So, um, but the, the, with the lovers, that's a collaboration of souls in some sort of sacred partnerships and things like that, you know? Like-minded people and those collaborations of those like-minded people, like finding a tribe could be classified as that too. And, you know, the mutual benefits of life, it could be classified as that as well and the love and connection. But then it could also be doing too much on your own and being overly independent and difficulty in trusting others and taking them at face value but it could also be partners with trouble but with the fact that we've got the star before it it shows me that there's hope there regardless of whatever situation it is because the star is hope yeah in itself and it's always going to be seen as hope because it's the star which is moving past traumatic events and the loss of faith and diminished hope and being overly sensitive but it's also wishes granted yeah so maybe you're wishing him on a star and, 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 and you're trapped in your mind in some sort of way waiting for that love or I don't, I don't see that because um, we've got hard work we'll just split out somebody's trying to either because I've got what I've got here is I've got the lovers okay and then I've got the ten of cups which is the ultimate in spiritual relationships like the ultimate like the ten of cups is everybody's 
Everybody wants the Ten of Cups. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. I hope you get the Ten of Cups. I hope you get the Ten of Cups. You know, because it's a joyful, meaningful connection. So it does show me that there's a connection and there's hope there, regardless whether there's dominance or there's, um, you know, the Eight of Swords is there. But it does show that there's con that connection is can be intoxicating. Okay, as a celestial smile in itself, but it's like that completion and emotional joy and fulfillment of that spiritual journey, and then having those pos positive interactions in the surrounding of thyself and and the people who enable that type of thinking, whether it's positive thinking or negative thinking, which is you know can be a time to clear, you know those habits, but also give you a way to conversate and elevate yourself if that makes sense like have addressed those shadows in any relationship and i think that's what we all see when we go on there's good news coming that's what we all see um yeah there's good news coming okay stick it out yeah just protect your energy um that's what we all see with twin flame relationships and things like that like everybody wants to soulmates and things like that and the twin flames but they've got to understand the twin flames either go one way or the other they are love big time love it's burning love yeah and that's why there's so much heat and passion around them but like they got it you've got to address the shadows on both sides it can't just be an ego in one relationship on one person and then another person just addresses it all and continually be subordinate it's, it's not the way it works because then then you're basically taking that emperor and, and putting it towards one of the queens and that's not right and then if he's acting all dominant then he's only the the king of swords he's not all the kings so he wouldn't be the emperor if that makes sense he's got to learn and she's got to learn at the same time in order to release those traumas so when a fight breaks out and things like that because relationships are not easy that you're able to come to an agreement now if you've got to walk away from that and then come back five minutes later and fix it all then that's fantastic but sweeping it under the rug just ain't, ain't the way to go but so that's what i'm saying with those relationships just keep that action pushing towards it because i do see a relationship in some sort of way that somebody's tied up in their mind they, whatever relationship that is. But there's a Ten of Cups there, which shows that there's possible marriage. Yeah? Possible celebration. That's what this card is. That's why it's, I call it marriage. Because it's celebrations. They're all partying. See in the corner here? They're all partying, celebrating. And look, they're all partying, celebrating this card too. So it just shows that their connection, I don't know if it'll zoom in at the present moment with the lights the way they've got it, but you can see there's like a Merkaba between their two third eyes. That shows the connection in that relationship. And then, like I said before, there's a connection there in itself. So always work towards being the best person you can you can be but at the end of the day we don't want to disrespect ourselves and stay in our mind yeah we want to actually work towards getting yeah strength in ourselves it came out before and strength and and, and release and let go of things that aren't possibly supposed to be there and that's that's the truth but in itself you just got to nurture yourself and nurture others but at the end of the day if you're you're not perfect in yourself how can you help anybody else and there's no such thing as perfect. What I mean by that, your version of perfect or who you are as a soul, yeah? Beat to your own drum. Be unapologetically yourself. It's like spirits saying that with two knights here. You know, knights are erratic. They put action in, you know? The pages are childish and, and the children in self and things like that. You know, you know, and they're messengers. Whereas these are action. They put action. Like the knight of, knight of pentacles there is a slow moving, diligent, hard working. Like I said, you're putting a lot of hard working. This knight is adventure. Yeah, he's on a pursuit of adventure because he's a knight of wands. The knight of cups is a pursuit of love. You know, that love and intuition and emotion. And he you know, wears his heart on his sleeve. And then that knight of swords. Well, he's war. He's going straight in. He's... He's going on that pursuit of excellence and he's the hero, if that makes sense. So you, between those two cards, you not only are you, are you working hard, but once you release and let go and figure out who you are, because you've got to release whatever's, whatever's doing that to you, and it's thoughts, because there's the thoughts, yeah? And then here, like it's literally under the deck, literally there's the release of trauma and baggage in order to basically high vibe and beat to that drum, yeah? And you can see how the cards work. So in order to release this here, you've got to go into who you are, whether it's thyself or thy relationship and release the baggage or fix the baggage in order to make it work which therefore comes back to a beating to your own drum you know and it's not easy the best of the days but we've got to do what we've got to do yeah if that means moving away it means moving away but it sort sort of comes back to this card here is moving away from these ties these things that manipulate your mind they're not they you're not supposed to be on this world to be i've had so many relationships it's not funny where i've thought that i was going to be the best thing ever and they never worked out at all and the reason they didn't work out is because of shadows and because of uh, egotistical views and things like that, you know? And that leads to the emperor there. So at the end of the day, you've got to do you. And, and with two eights there, it does say manifest. 
So at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. And if that, we've got another eight here, and that's 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 work hard, teamwork. Yeah, you got to put the teamwork into that relationship. You got to put the teamwork into yourself. My rela- my readings are not about relationships, but the fact that that lovers came out with the ten of cups, it shows me we are talking about a relationship in some sort of way. You know, and it's 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 playing on your mind, and so therefore it's got to be either fixed in order to step off, which is exactly what I'm saying. This is my trials and tribulations card, right? This is somebody who's learning the lessons in order to step off. So when it comes to those love, and I was saying like the shadows need to be addressed, that would be addressing the trials and tribulations so the fights don't continue to happen and you're able to free your mind so you know damn well it's all right and you can step off on the next journey. And then that's the hope that somebody's looking for. It's like you're looking for that hope in itself because it's got that pinnacle in his hand. It's, you know, I'll show you, these are two different decks. Yeah, look, she's got the thing in her hand coming up to connect, keep that connection there, and he's got the pentacle there. So it shows that there's hope regardless, regardless of whichever way you look at it, and that's what Spirit's trying to say in the cards there. In order to release the, the baggage and step towards your, your fate in life, you've got to, because it is faded love, look, it's faded, yeah, it's faded. Not to mention that's a major, a major icon. So whatever it is you love, even if it's jobs, see, it doesn't have to be a relationship. That could be a job tying you to, tying you to the job and tying you down with dominance where you can't sleep or it plays on your mind because they're asking too much of you in that, in that emperor card there of dominance. That could be a family member in itself. You've got to take from uh, on my readings what you'll take um, at the best of days. But the best part about the my readings is they're correct. So you watch out for any deception around any family members, okay? So here. Now we lead into this. Now it starts to explain what's going on here. So if it's fated to be, that's magnificent. You don't deceive yourself out of it. But yeah, if you put the boundaries in place to who you are and heal in life, that's what that is, is healing. You're able to, yeah, you're able to be the Knight of Cups and wear your, wear your heart on your sleeve and not be manipulated on your journey because that's what that card means and not be broken hearted anymore. You know, and, and not be juggled and not juggle the thoughts, you know, because that and spirit will pull you in that direction because that's what's happening here is juggling thoughts, like I said before, in a completely different day. And that's what spirit says is to release it. And that's what spirit came out there with exactly the same cards, but in a different way. You know, there's some sort of deception there, whether it's in your mindset or outside, that's that needs to be addressed, okay, in order to have the creative new beginning and be excited because that's enthusiasm and be back to that enthusiasm because we've got a celebration above it with the Four of Wands. And to be get back that enthusiasm, this, that deception needs to be released on whatever it is. And that's the truth, yeah? And there's your new journey. What's trying to come out here? Yeah, there's clarity for somebody. What's trying to come out here? And that's healing, yeah? Look, healing. There's the sort. When they break your heart, they, the Spirit shows these cuts for a certain reason, right? When they break your heart, all the, there's three swords in that red heart, right? They're going to cut it, break your heart. There are those the three swords at the top there, right? But then Spirit gives you clarity and truth and victory to fix it, and that's the sword underneath. See the sword? Boom. The one sword there to take it to the four of swords. When you play, when you do the readings the way they're supposed to be done and actually know what the cards mean, they actually mean things, all right? So you take from it what you want, but it's up to you. You've got free will. Spirit gave everybody free will. You do what you want, boo. You love. You're loving yourself. But the, what, all I'm trying to say is if you're going to work hard through life with something, at least be poly, unapologetically yourself and do you. Don't let people tra play on your mind. Don't let people trap you in your head. And be unapologetically yourself. And if they don't like it, tell them to fuck off. It's so simple. It's so simple. Yeah? And that's the truth. Yeah? Have options for yourself. And that doesn't mean bad things. That means good things. It means put boundaries in place. Yeah? And see life for what it is. Because that's what that is. Two these two together. See the see life for what it is. All those fish in the sea. Yeah? That's what it represents there in that card. I can't do it because I'm got to, I'm trying to fix all this this um, cameras and stuff up. But there, that's what it says there in the bottom there is the fish on the sea. But that's options and options are in life. If you're in a relationship and a loving relationship, that's not obviously people, plenty of fish in the sea. You've got to take from it what you will. That's the options trying to come in. Beat to your own drum and you'll probably find the options at work will come in by being yourself. Um, if you're single, the options will come in by being yourself and walking down the street and smiling instead of being trapped in your mind and shutting yourself away. Um, it, the options, this can also be wishful thinking, a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of pondering in thought, because she's pondering in thought too, see? It's thinking about it all, you know, and saying so, that's what is, what's happening here, because it's trapped in the mind as we lead to the top, see? It's trapped, she's trapped in that mind, so it's pondering in thought in itself, but there's options that come in as long as you beat to your own drum, and it's not going to be easy because we've got the hard work and determination of it, but once you put them boundaries in place, because that's the nine of wands, which is the... The, the wounded warrior, the soldier, the de determination. So there's determinations there in order to be the, the abundance in that relationship and, and walk through to be that part of the king and, and part of the emperor there because I've got not only hard work, I've got teamwork here. 
Because that's what that is. It's perfecting a skill as working hard. And if that's at work. If this was a work thing, somebody's smashing it at work. If this is life and love, somebody's putting in the big effort to be the best part. Yeah, and there shouldn't be any deceptions. There shouldn't be any stress. There shouldn't be any stress. Somebody's working very, very, very hard to free up their mind from stress and problems and worries. And because and, 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 we've got that dominance above it with that emperor there. Because it shows dominance around that eight of swords. Once you know how to read the energies, you can read them. Yeah, and there's hope there because I'm not only just doing this right. Well, soon I'll have these cameras set up so you can see the cameras at the bottom here so I don't have to pick them up. It's all just sitting there. I'll, I'll figure it out as I'm going along. But you can see we've got two hopes here with a new beginning. There's a new beginning here. That's what that is. But you've got to learn the trolls and tribulations to get it or otherwise you go back to the ace, which is the divine blessing to start again. You know, but there's two hopes there which show... You know, to have have that expect those miracles, double double chance of them, and work through those traumatic events, especially on your journey, because that's over here too. See, it's, above it is is healing. See, healing is your journey. You got to work through the traumatic events. That's what that is. Is healing past those events and healing past any of these things that you've got to. You shouldn't have to put uh, big boundaries in place to make sure people aren't walking over you in relationships, because that's not that's manipulation. <laughs> This is manipulation. You shouldn't have to. It's got to be yourself. And look, it's, it's the same emphasis on the same card over here. See? It's the same card, just in a different deck. And what was over here? Nostalgia, memories, thoughts. Yeah, and you've got to release them because that's releasing the baggage of nine of ten of wands. You can't, this is the ten of wands of releasing baggage. And then this is the nine of wands of putting the boundaries in place in order to release the baggage. So it's funny that those cards, these cards are exactly the same around the same, same type of energy here. See? It's like somebody was thinking, because uh, the thoughts are here, see? It's the same cards. It's just a different way, that's all. It's, 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 and that's why I use three different decks. That's why I use three different decks and only seven cards out of each deck. So that way, whatever happens comes out, Spirit can put double emphasis on the fated message on the, for, for the soul's journey. And that's what the fool is. is the, every deck in this, every card person in this, this is a fool here getting deceived. This is the fool here in enthusiastic energy. This is the fool here in hope and trying to release those traumas. And there's the fool as the fool with zero, zero. See, zero, zero. And it shows that whatever you've gone through in your life, whether it's love, whether it's relationships, whether it's business, it's fated to happen in order to we, so we can learn our lessons of that page of pentacles and step up. And any sadness should be addressed because we're supposed to be happy in our lives as we walk through them. And that is divine inspiration for what I'm saying. Free up the mind. If that deception's in your mind, free it up because you can see it here. See? Shooting those downloads in. If that's in a relationship, free it up. Somehow, figure it out. If that's at work, free it up. Man, get a new job. Do something. Don't let people trap you in your mind ever. Ever. Yeah, if that's a deception in your family, either address it or tell them to go away and until they, until they start to grow up. That's what I'm talking about by addressing shadows and releasing burdens. It's unfair that you've got to use, this is what this card is about to say, what I'm about to say. So thank you, Spirit, with the lovers under here. What I'm about to say is you've got to use your logic because she's logic. She will cut through the bullshit. That's what she does, the Queen of War Swords. She cuts through the bullshit with her morals and her integrity. That whole row there that is based upon love from the lovers. That whole row on the top there is freeing up the mind of the lovers. And then this middle one is freeing up the journey for the lovers in order to heal. They're the underlining energies of the whole thing. The underlining. See, it's the bottom of the deck, which is the underlining energy. And then the whole readings across the top are underlining. This is why I do it this way, so we can put emphasis on the, mirror, the, the messages that come through. This is, the, this is the soul, whether it's male or female is irrelevant. It's the queen, yeah? but she means something. Okay, She means the, the morals and integrity that will cut through the bullshit. She will, she will not tolerate any bullcrap in her life because she's been through it. She's put a foot down, she puts a foot down as the queen and says, I'm not going to do it, I'm, I am the truth speaker, I am an honest, astute leader, I am wise, I, am the, I have the ability to cut through the bullshit, I am clear vision, I am clear communication, I am wit, I am intelligence, I am wise and I'm advice in itself and I am a strategic thinker and when I speak the truth into my world bravely and honestly without corruption, I am the strong, perfect person who is able to speak with clear, clear truth, that's what she is. That's what she represents. You need to be enthusiastic about what you want to do. Speak the truth, because that's what that says. Speak the truth, and you'll be able to celebrate. Whatever it is you've got to say, say it. And it frees up the mind, because that's the next card that we go to. All right? 
and any deception should be addressed. It's faded. The whole world, the whole thing in this whole reading is seven cards on the top, seven cards on the bottom, three cards on the right, three cards on the left. And right in the middle is this one here. And that is a person using their, their skills of life. That's the best way to say it. One through to 10, the skills of life, learning the trolls and tribulations in order to understand and address the shadows in their life or anything that's gone wrong to bring them to the next one in their journey. And so then they learn the experience and then they go on to better, better, better journeys, better full, better full choices, okay? And then there's a whole bunch more of these things you've got to learn in life in order to be the best version of yourself. That's called life, yeah? And if it's a relationship, that's the difference between a soulmate connection and twin flames. Soulmates are friends and all that sort of stuff, but flims, twin flames are burning love connections. But the thing is, is when a burn, burning love connection, there's ego that comes into them and it plays on the mind, yeah? Because somebody's always dominant, somebody's always thing. But what the people don't understand is that those relationships are not designed for that. Spirit didn't design you to be somebody's slave. I'm sorry, it's the truth. Spirit designed you to come into this world, be unapologetically you, and beat to your own drum, and set a precedence in this world, and show exactly who you are, whatever your name is, who you are in this world as the fool, to go and set a journey, as your fate has already been set from the Alpha to the Omega of your journey. So you can love who you love, deceive who you deceive, logic when you want logic, put the boundaries in place to make sure that, that all these things don't come back into play and then you never have, once you, once you put those boundaries in place, you'll never have to walk away from it again and if you do, then there was a lesson in there, you, let, you obviously drop the boundary somewhere. Put your foot down, don't allow anybody to walk all over you, don't allow anybody to manipulate your mindset and just stand up and be you, whatever that is, unapologetically you, for the journey you're on. And life's not easy but at the end of the day, it's, life is what you make it, as beauty's in the eye of the beholder. All I'm saying is you've got two stars here which show expect miracles. Expect them because Spirit's going to give them to you. I've got eight here, so that's mean a lot of eights here which show manifestations. I have the lovers next to a star next to the Ten of Cups, which shows me it's a divine connection, a real divine connection, which, which potentially could result in marriage, if not marriage already. Okay, but it's somehow it's freeing up the, it's, it's playing on that mind. And in order to get, look, in order to get to the, that part there, which is the masculine to feminine mindset of the person, which is the social butterfly and then the diplomacy of the love, where the victory is, you've got to go within. Look, that's just how it works. You do you, boo. You do you, 100%. You just, it's, that's what the best part about life is. You got it. You got free will. Make your own decisions in life, but stand beside them. All Spirit's trying to say is, I'm going to give you exactly what you want. But I need you to address this, I need you to do this, and I'm, once you do it, I'm going to take it all away, and I'm going to give you a world you've never ever seen before, and it's faded for you to have it. But then when you get to this card, everywhere you look, I'm sorry to be the truth, bearer of bad truth, these deceptions are. That's where discernment comes into play, that's where boundaries come into play, that's where knowing your worth comes into play. That's where life experience comes into play. So you're able to work, walk on inspiration and know that you are a good person and you deserve good things. And that is, is morals and logic in itself. Unless you haven't got any morals and logic, then well, I don't think you'd be sitting there watching tarot readings trying to figure out the best version of yourself and see where, where you went right and wrong in life. Have a lovely, beautiful day, Pisces, and you just you deserve the best. Then that's the truth. And don't let anybody ever tell you, tell you you don't. Spirit definitely wants you to have the best. That's every second of your life you're born. Have a lovely day and I wish you nothing but the best, promise. Have a nice day.